If I'm a talk, I'm a talk, I'm a keep it real. What is going on, guys? So today I am showing you strictly fire. This is all personal collections, tops that I've bought over the past couple of weeks off of eBay or off of Instagram or just anything in. I bought all of these online. None of these were actually found at a thrift store, so I did pay price. So to jump into it, I showed you guys this already, but this is a Nirvana reprinted heart shirt. This is actually from Zoomies, and the reason why I bought this, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this. This design is from 1993. Nirvana actually has a vintage shirt exactly like this, and it goes for about $1,000. On a low end, maybe about 700, maybe 600. So the reason why I got this, I'm gonna show you guys, like I'm gonna do a comparison, the $30 shirt or $40 shirt compared to the $1,000 shirt. So that'll be in a different video, but I did cop this. Next, we have a vintage 1993 Paul McCartney World Tour. I got this just because it stood out to me, and I believe it was like $15 or $20 shipped, which isn't a bad deal at all. It is vintage 1993, made in USA, has a timestamp. So I feel like Kanye would be rocking something like this, because if you notice, all over you have Paul McCartney World Tour on the entire shirt, front and back, and then you have this purple screen print right on top. So I figured... Car I figured this would be something that he would rock. The next shirt is like a grail shirt of mine. As soon as I saw this, I had to buy it. I didn't even try to haggle the price. Literally just sent him a PayPal right then and there. I was like, thank you so much. This is a vintage Backstreet Boys shirt, but what's fire about it and what I love, look what they're wearing, guys. Tommy jeans, overalls, and then you got Polo Jeans Co. with the RL. Backstreet Boys down there, and then Backstreet Boys on the back. This is vintage with tag. So I was so hyped I found this. I think I paid $40 shipped, which again, I didn't haggle with price. The guy wanted 40, and I was like, you know what? I will definitely pay $40 shipped for this. So it was just super fire. Again, Backstreet Boys both wearing Tommy and Ralph. Now getting into the jackets, I have a little bad news about this jacket, but I'll show you guys it first. It is a pull, it is a vintage Tommy Hilfiger, Gucci green with the red and white stripes, a zipper pocket underneath with the light blue and black. On the back, Tommy Hilfiger, all embroidered with a huge crest. Now the bad news about this jacket, it's bootleg guys. And I kind of had a feeling it was when I bought it, but I really wanted to check it out in person. And to be honest, I really like this colorway. Like the Gucci colorway with this is just super nice. I would love to add this to the personal, but checking all the stitching and the patchwork, unfortunately this is fake and it's a bootleg. It is a good bootleg, definitely vintage bootleg, but Unfortunately, I paid $120 ship for this, so I can't pay $120 ship for a bootleg jacket. That's just, it's way overpriced. So I'm gonna be returning this. Right now I'm in the process of returning it over eBay. It takes so many headaches, but I am returning this, but I figured I'd show you guys either way. Size large, unfortunately. Again, if this was real, this would probably be like one of the best jackets I have in my collection. Nah, that South Beach Tommy actually tops it, but so yeah, bootleg Tommy, you know, you win some, you lose some, even I buy a bootleg sometimes. And for the final pickup of today, which is like the grail of the grail, I am so hyped and surprised I found this. If you guys have been watching me for a while or know any of my vlogs, you guys know that this is my grail. A lot of people have asked me what's my favorite thing that I found at the thrift store. This is my favorite thing that I found at the thrift store. I found this for $3.50, it is vintage Mickey OG racing as mickey crew on the back size large my size literally flawless no stains on it nothing i've gotten tons of offers on it upwards to 200 plus Someone was like i'll give you 250 dollars paypal ready right now for that yellow jacket and i said honestly i would love to sell this but i don't think i'll be able to find another one like this i have never seen this one before for sale not even at round two my next one I'm about to show you I have seen so this one I feel like it's much rare but this is like my grail I'm a grail I will keep this in my collection forever now that I have this one you guys ready boom OG Mickey racing jacket this jacket is absolutely insane we have Mickey and light blue writing all across Mickey racing formula like there's so much going on with this jacket, it's really hard 
to show everything. We have race, the checkered flag, Mickey. I got this off of eBay, checkered flag, and you guys are probably not gonna believe how much I got this on eBay for. I got this for $22 shipped, guys. They had it for $14.99 with $7 shipping, and like literally, I had to click back and forth. I was like, there's no way that there's this jacket in my size going for this price. I must have checked the pictures like four times, like, all right, I'm getting this, I'm getting this, all right, it's this price, it's shipping from this place. I was like, all right, perfect. Bought it and it came so fast. It's the same brand as my other one, Mickey and Co. So I'm guessing these go together and the reason why I'm not guessing, actually they do go together. One, look at the coloring. The coloring is very similar. Yes, this is a little faded yellow other than this yellow, but look, the light blue, the red. Look at the Mickey. The Mickey is the same Mickey, the OG Mickey. And this is the formula race and this says Mickey crew. So this is like the crew and then this is the racer one. So I feel like this is such a fire, like not many collectors have both of these in their collection. I have seen this at round two. I believe round two posted it for about $200, $250. So I've seen this jacket floating around before, but the yellow one I've never seen and I've never seen somebody have both of them. So, hey, stay in the personal collection, not for sale. Actually, everything I showed you is not for sale. This is a personal collection. And I also have some stuff on the way that's actually even more heat. I have a reversible Tommy jacket that should be coming in next week and oh my gosh, this is a grail of mine. So the person that sold to me is watching, like I'm gonna do a, literally a separate video on just that so you guys will see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little small video. I figured why not show you guys a couple of personal cops rather than just not posting at all. If you guys like this rather than me not posting at all, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. As Captain walks in towards the end. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Most number ones, number ones in a nigga league. I think your girl, think your girl fell in love with me. She say my fuck and my tongue gave a remedy.